Do the Technoblade AI. Uh, Technoblade, Technoblade, is Technoblade AI. Technoblade AI. <laughs> Since everyone wants me to make a Technoblade AI, I spent the past few weeks designing an AI that closely mimics Techno's Minecraft playstyle. But actually, that's a lie. It's over-exaggerated to the point where his personality is only Technoblade ME! So here I present to you the orphan-punching, never-dying, anti-government, anarchist, boast-banning, potato-obsessed Technoblade AI. And of course, since this is server-side, you can spawn in as many as you'd like. Ooh! If you'd like to try out the plugin for yourself, I'm gonna be doing a huge plugin release along with my other work at 100,000 subscribers, so definitely make sure you're subscribed. Also, if this video hits 5,000 likes, we'll try to do a manhunt against these guys. Now with that out of the way, it's coding time! <laughs> As we all know, Technoblade does not support any form of social structure, and thus any instance of such must be eradicated on site. Unfortunately, this doesn't look too good for the villages. So in order to check if a village is nearby, we'll need to make our bot execute the slash locate command, which I guess you could say is cheating, but we won't actually tell it what the command returns. This will fetch data about the closest village, but we will only let the bot know that it exists if it happens to be within 200 meters and not obstructed by too many blocks. Finally, we will send a signal to the bot if it happens to be within its field of view. To do this, we can take the bot's head direction as a vector, as well as the normalized vector between the two locations, and check if the dot product is above, let's say, 0.25. If you don't know what a vector or a dot product is, well, <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. A vector is basically an arrow of direction, and a dot product just tells you how much one vector is in the direction of another. So once a village has been locked on site, Technoblade will immediately begin spawning in withers. Techno doesn't exactly have time to lose, so we'll need to spawn in the withers as fast and as efficiently as possible. The most efficient method I came up with allows the bot to create approximately 20 withers every second. To code this, I rotated the player entity 90 degrees every 20th of a second, placing blocks in this exact pattern every rotation. However, the only thing we're really constrained by is the fact that withers are three blocks tall and a player is only two blocks tall, so a quick fix for this is to simply place a block underneath the bot to maintain elevated three blocks at eye level. Nonetheless, this is pretty freaking awesome. Well, maybe not for the villagers, but you get the point. Oh, freak, he ran out of soul sand. Oh, what the heck? Oh, whoa, he has fire breath, yo! One of Techno's most well-known catchphrases is Technoblade never dies. My dream AI is programmed to be absolutely relentless and aggressive without really any attention to his health, but Technoblade needs to maintain his motto, so I actually need to add some defensive tactics to his playstyle. Don't get me wrong, this bot is gonna be several times more aggressive than the dream AI, but once it happens to drop below, let's say, three hearts, he will go full on defense mode. Once defense mode has been activated, his objective is simple. Run. To make this work, we'll build off of Minecraft's built-in panic and target-avoiding pathfinder goals, where we will turn down the noise significantly, making the running straight rather than random, and adding consistent jumping when necessary. If the goal is returned impossible, meaning that there is no way to get from point A to point B without destroying or placing blocks, we will need to resort to one final custom extreme panic pathfinder goal. With this, the bot will randomly try to place as many blocks as possible to impede the enemy's movement. This is quite analogous to shooting someone in Fortnite that has a good gaming chair. However, there have been some astronomically rare sightings of Technoblade dying, so if if you were to manage to kill him, that would be illegal, so he would have no choice but to revive himself on the spot. Yeah, we've created a monster, and we've barely just begun. 